Hello YouTube, this is Computer Crash Zero here. Welcome to the first ever Batch Files tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a batch file that says Hello World. Really quick, really simple. Now if you like what you see, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I do want to try and make this an ongoing series, so I'm going to need your help. So what is a batch file that you may be asking? A batch file is simply a command to be ran in the command line. Now the command line is the backbone of all Windows PCs. So time to get used to it. Okay, the software that we're going to need today, Notepad. This is all that you need. Now if you want to go a step further, you can download Notepad++. I'll leave a link for the in the description below. But other than that, Notepad is really all you need first line we're going to put is at echo off. Now what this line does is it tells your system to only display the plain text. Now the plain text can be decided by what a variable is or just by what an echo is. Now we'll get into variables later. Try not to blow your mind too quickly. Put a couple of spaces in there the next line we're going to write is echo hello world and that is it that is 90 percent of the script now we're going to go ahead and save this file save you know the routine change the name to hello world dot bat bat it's critical that you save it as a .bat extension. Otherwise, it's just going to be a text file and your computer's not going to know what to do with it. So we'll go ahead and save this. Let it generate on our desktop. Let's go ahead and run it. Did you see that? Something happened, but we're not sure. Let's try and run it again. I think we may have broke something. If yours is doing this, don't worry we're going to enter the next line. Put a couple of spaces in there. The line that we're going to do now is pause. Okay, as you can see, I clearly can't spell, so this might not be such a good idea. Let's go ahead and do it anyways. Now we're going to go ahead and save our batch file, and let's run it again. Hopefully your computer doesn't blow up, okay? I don't really know what I'm doing. Ha ha! Success, YouTube! We have just created a Hello World. Now, as you can see, we do have some additional text that says press any key to continue. That is literally the pause command. Now if we hit any key, it disappears. The reason it does that is because we didn't put any other commands and your computer doesn't know what to do. Such sad news, isn't it? But, oh well, I wanted to keep this tutorial quick, simple. Let me know what you think. If you have any additional ideas, leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Trolls, beware.